for our departure. Today in our engine, you'll find Bill walking by with all the water and Gatorade that the world can supply. <laughs> and David. And on the back of the train, you'll find Nate. Nate is our backup camera. <laughs> you see, Bill and Dave can't see <laughs> the back of the train or the tracks, so we put a set of eyes back there called a brakeman or a trainman in order to let him know whether or not we need to come to a complete stop or just slow down a bit. My name is Catherine, I'm your conductor, but I'll also be your narrator on this trip. You're riding on tracks that are two feet wide. The cars themselves are six feet wide. If you feel as though you're riding on air, you are. You're overhanging the tracks by two feet on either side. You're gonna walk back and forth when we travel. It's not because the cars are old, although they could be. They're 70 to 130 years old, depending on which car you're riding in. Wow. No, actually, they're designed this way to go around tight corners of rivers, lakes, streams, mountains, wooded areas, anywhere that the standard gauge trains could not or would not go. They were not designed to be in a city. Well, why are we in a city? Well, we weren't here until 1992. In fact, if you tried to come to Portland before 1990, you couldn't come to this section of Portland. This was all railroad car, uh, railroad yard. It was over. Hi, I'm Gabby, and you're watching Gabby Gabbers. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the, no the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any other videos. Let's start. Atlantic. And with the Grand Trunk would arrive over the years three 10 story grain elevators. They had the capacity to hold 600 million tons of grain. Now we're gonna find out what happened to change all that as we travel down the track. What did stop the trains coming into Portland? You're gonna listen for three toots of the whistle, a couple of bells, and we'll be off and running. So we're just waiting for that signal. And Gabby. Hello. And you know on the side over here, people are walking. Alright, here we go, that's the signal. Now there are some islands that are rising out of the water. That's all that remain of nine docks that once stood there. The first six docks were removed when the Ocean Gateway was built in 2009. The Ocean Gateway is our visitor center in Portland. It's also where TSA sets up in the
seawall. And we're slowing down this no problem. It's just that we're coming to a shared roadway. Authority regulations in this country state that the railroad always has the right of way. But we do need to alert motorists and pedestrians that we're coming. We don't have a gate set up at this time. DOPT has just located one for us. But we like that human standing in the middle of the road with a red flag that seems to get people's attention. So maybe we step off the train if it's driving us through. On the way back to the station, we don't slow down here. The engineer will just go through this intersection, blowing a whistle signal called the Queen's Road. At the top of this hill, this is Cutter Street, there's a big
goes well. Enjoy the fine weather before the storm sets in. Sí.